Hi, my name is Brian and welcome to another video on limits. In this video, we're going to take a look at a graph and then find the limits from the graph. So let me go ahead and write all of the limits down. We'll go ahead and evaluate them. All right, let's go ahead and start with these three. So here is, these two are one-sided limits. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to x equals 1, which is right here. And Sorry. All right. Uh, so here's x equals 1 right here. So I'm going to put the ruler right here. And then, which you cannot see, there you go. Uh, so now as you approach 1 from the left, you're going to trace the graph. And then you're just going to tell me what would you expect the y value to be when you got to x equals 1. Now here's 1 and here's 2. And so this, as I approach this point, looks like it's about 1 and a half. So that's what I'm going to say the left-hand limit is, 1.5. So for this one, I need to approach 1 from the right. So same thing. I'm going to put the ruler at 1.2, or sorry, 1. Now as I approach x equals 1 from the right, again, I look like I'm going right here. Okay. And uh, that's also at 1.5. So this one is the general limit. That means the general limit exists if the left and right hand limits matched. And so since the left and right hand limits equaled 1.5, I'm going to go ahead and say the general limit also 1.5. All right, so let me put up a couple more limits. Now I only wrote one limit up here, but it is a general limit. And so in order to do a general limit from this, we're going to have to look at both the left and right hand sides to see if they match. So yeah, I only asked for one limit, but we are going to have to look at both the left and right hand side. Uh, I'm going to put my ruler at two. Again, you could put a pencil there. And so for the left hand limit, as, x, uh, as you approach x equal two, so I'm following along, and I would expect the y value to be here. Uh, so that would be at one. And in fact, if I approach 2 from the right-hand side, I am also approaching this y value of 1. So both the left and right limits equal 1. So I'm going to go ahead and say the general limit equals 1. Now the difference between these two is that I have a closed dot here, and here I have an open dot. Uh, some confusion comes from, well, if I have a closed dot here, will the limit still be 1? And the answer is yes. Limits are talking about as you get really close to 2, not exactly 2. So this right here, that just stands for f of 2. Sorry, yeah, f of 2, which equals 1. No, in this case, it, sorry, f of 2 equals 2, but the limit equals 1. So again, limits, what happens as you get really close to 2, but a function value is what happens at 2. All right, so let's go ahead and try another limit. Okay, again, same thing as the previous one. I have a general limit, so I'm going to have to take a look at the left and right hand limits. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, x approaches negative 1 from the left. So, ruler or pencil goes at negative 1. You're going to follow the graph approaching negative 1 from the left, because again, it is a left hand limit. And it looks like the y value I expect it to be 1. So, write down 1 here. And then for the right-hand limit, right, ruler at negative 1, approaching from the right, so I'm coming down. And when I get to negative 1, or as I get really close to negative 1, I would expect the point to be here, which looks like it's at negative 2. Now, since the left and right-hand limits don't match, again, 1 doesn't equal negative 2, we get to say the general limit does not exist. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, in the next set of limits, we're going to be talking about what happens when we approach negative 2 from the left, right, and the general limit. Uh, and so now at negative 2, I hope you see the big dotted line here, which indicates that there's a vertical asymptote. Uh, so approaching negative 2 from the left, so I'm coming from this side, going up, and because it's a vertical asymptote, as I approach it, it's going to keep going up forever. And so we'd indicate that as infinity. 
Now, doing the right-hand limit, as we approach from the right, the graph is going down forever. And so that will be negative infinity. Now, since this is positive and this is negative, they're not going to meet. And clearly, you can see that these aren't going to meet at the same value. Uh, so this is going to be DNE for does not exist. All right, in this limit, uh, we're going to let x go to negative infinity. Uh, so if you were in algebra or trig, uh, if you were to have x go to infinity or negative infinity, that would, and that value exists, that would have been a horizontal asymptote. And so here's, we're going to negative infinity this way. So the graph is coming down. It does look like it kind of levels off uh, right there. And my guess is that it's going to approach the ruler. Never in, so it's going to be a horizontal asymptote. Now what is that value? Uh, it's going to be 1. Okay. Now it's kind of hard to see, but if I wanted to know what the limit as x approaches infinity, so that means I'm going to go off to the right. Kind of ran out of room, but uh, it does look like I'm trying to uh, go horizontal. And so I didn't do the best job, but I did mean for it to approach the x-axis so that it would have a horizontal asymptote of uh, 0. So I think that's everything I can get from this graph. I uh, hope it helps. Bye.